Hi folks, this is Diffie Q, Checkpoint Quiz 1. We're given a differential equation and we're asked some questions about it. So part A, we're asked to determine the order of the differential equation. So what does that mean? I look for the highest derivative in the differential equation and we have a y double prime there which means that the order of the differential equation is second. So it's a second order differential equation. Uh, part B. We're asked to explain why this ODE is nonlinear. So if I take a, a look at this thing, what makes it nonlinear? Well, what does it mean to be linear? In order to be linear, the function and its derivative has to be to the first power. It can't be inside any trig functions or anything else. Um, so that condition satisfied. However, the other condition is the coefficient of y or y prime or y double prime can depend only on the independent variable, in this case x. What we have here is if we take the time to multiply that out, we'll see right away that we have an issue with this term right here because the coefficient of y double prime depends not just on x but on y and so this is why it's nonlinear right there alright part C asks us to verify that this family uh, constitutes a two parameter family of solutions so remember, when, we, when we're given things like this, we can assume that the C1 and C2 are constants. And so we'll treat them as such. So how do I show something is a family of solutions to a differential equation? Well, I'm going to take these and I'm going to substitute them into a differential equation. So to do that, I need to find the second derivative. Well, hopefully you can do this one in your head. The second derivative is zero. So when I go to substitute that into my differential equation to check to see that it works, I substitute in what y is, and I substitute in what y double prime is, and I ask myself, do those does that equal zero? And sure enough, zero equals zero. So that's how you verify solutions. You take it and you plug it into the Diffie Q and see that you get a true equation. Okay, part D, we're asked to verify y equals x squared is a singular solution to this differential equation. So what's it mean to be a singular solution? Well, first and foremost, it has to be a solution. So we're going to take y equals x squared, find its derivatives, like so. And then we're going to substitute it back and show that it satisfies the differential equation, which I think at this point you can see why that's going to work. We substitute in y equals x squared. And is that equal to zero? Of course it is. So that shows that it's a solution. Now we need to attack this concept of singular. Now the way they've defined the singular solution in our book it's always with respect to a given family of solutions. So the family is given in C. So this is a two parameter family of solutions. So what makes y equals x squared singular? Well, can I find constants C1 and C2 so that y equals x squared equals one of the members of this family? And the answer is no. So y equals x squared is a solution, but not one of the family. y equals c1x plus C2. Okay, so that's what makes it a singular solution. Now, for the math buffs out there, 
this is uh, an interesting thing to think about. Why isn't x squared equal to c1x plus c2? Um, there's a couple of different ways to think about that. If you think geometrically, the graph of all these things are lines. The graph of this is a parabola, so there's no way that that uh, can be the same. Uh, there are some more high power tools. It's going to get down to the fact that the powers of x, the distinct powers of x, are really um, what are called linearly independent. And we'll talk about that kind of concept when we get into chapter 4. So that'll do it for number 1.